today is the day. I'm super excited. We finally get to fire the Mustang up. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that it works. I have no doubts that it will, maybe a little bit, but I think I've done to the best of my ability of kind of building this thing up and making sure that it starts on the first turn. We've set ignition timing. We're at top dead center. We should be all good. We're going to give this thing a fire. We're going to prime our fuel and give it a go. I already primed the oil pump and yeah, it should be good. So let's see. everyone obviously you saw it start you heard it start on the first try by the way um, looks like I set everything up correctly to get it to fire but anyway there was a small ticking sound I don't know if some of you heard that I certainly did but I adjusted timing set it at about 12 13 degrees and lo and behold everything settled right up I pulled the valve cover off too, just to just double check check lash on one side and everything was good but anyway now it's time to go have some fun with this thing let's take it out for a drive and just quickly before we get started, I do want to comment on the Ricer inspired monster tack here. Um, you got to cut me a little bit of a break because I got this car when I was in high school and you know, what loser doesn't have a monster tack in their car. So um, that's why it's there. But I mean, moreover, like this tack is severely off and you'll see it wrap all the way down to about 7,000 RPMs before this one reaches six. So there's actually a functional reason for this thing. It's not totally just for looks. Um, you'll also notice that the engine doesn't break up at all when we get around 7,000 and I've got the, I think 6,000 pill in the, uh, MSD box. So yeah, it should, it should start breaking up around six, but anyway, you know, I don't, I don't have a bunch of fancy camera equipment either. This is all shooting off an iPhone. So I'm going to do the best I can. And yeah, the ceiling needs to be glued up. Um, but otherwise, yeah, we're going to, you know, try to shift and film at the same time and go fast. All right. See what we can do. She always runs a little rough at start. But it always sounds really good. All right, let's go. just didn't want to move anymore it was always down good in the low rpm range but once you got to the upper rpms it just fell uh, i can total notice a big difference in the upper rpm range already and it sounds a little better too um i think i haven't heard it in a while so maybe that's just in my head but it sounds good so we're gonna go get it up a little bit faster and I'm going to show you the uh, speedometer and the tack as we do this in a Mexico. All right, ideally we're going to do a 20 roll in first and then a 40 roll in second. And excuse the granny shifts because uh, the transmission needs help and uh, I got to film and drive at the same time. So anyway, let's go. sheriff back there um but he was working an accident so <laughs> i don't think he could really do much but anyway um sorry I, I, th I think the film was a little blurry there but it definitely ripped in first um had to let off in order for the uh, traction to gain but yeah you can probably hear the gears grinding in second uh the transmission uh, needs to be rebuilt but it pulled pretty well um i didn't have it the whole way down the whole time uh, but we're gonna do a uh, 40 roll in second and probably go to the top of third and see what we get there. So let's do that one. I got to turn around and we'll do it again. All right, here goes our uh, 40 roll in second. Three shifts. 
sheriff's cars down there. Cool thing about Mexican police, though, um, they're usually pretty cool. So I don't know what they're doing, but that could have been bad. Um, yeah, anyway, the thing I've really noticed about these heads as compared to the E7s is um they do not break up nearly as much on the on the top end like i i just feel it keeps pulling all the way to six and even a bit beyond and when, when i had these sevens on um it's it just seems like it, it absolutely died around i'd say the 5,000 rpm mark and these have just been doing a lot better i can definitely feel more power down low as well and throughout the mid-range so overall just big improvement i mean i had a great exhaust system and a great intake system on this car but the heads were always just kind of the cork in the bottle and you know we're definitely the weak point in the build um you know obviously a nice set of aluminum heads would be the best for this combination but um these gt40s absolutely uh rip um they are much better than the e7s and for what i have into this um geez i mean you can't beat the bang for the buck i think i think you know, maybe total dollars, um, I don't know, 400, 450, something like that. Um, so I'm really, uh, really happy with it. And they're you know, definitely a great add to the car. And, you know, once I get uh, the nitrous bottle full, um, you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna be that much better. It'll be uh, 75 horsepower better. And uh, see, I'm not lying about the police. Um, so yeah, everything, you know, it, uh, yeah, it's come together and, um, it just feels really stable up, up top in the higher RPM range. I think before when I had those E7s on, um, I don't think I had my uh, valve spring set up properly. I don't think I had installed height good because it always felt like the valves were floating around the upper RPM limits, which would kind of explain the power drop as well. So, um, this setup is just better overall. And yeah, I'm really excited to, I don't know, I'd, I'd love to get it to the track and get it to the dyno and see what it does. Um, there's so many conflicting reports on what these cars make with this sort of setup. And I'm just really curious, you know, what it'll be for me. So I'll definitely uh, get a video out there for that because uh, that definitely needs to happen. Um, unfortunately, like, these are the, this is the COVID era right now. And, um, you know, we're not totally sure on when things are going to be back to normal, but, you know, hopefully the, uh, the speed shop's open, open and we can get in and get a session. So anyway, um, again, just really excited. And, um, yeah, this car's just going to be more fun to drive. And I'm really glad I got these heads on. So when I have the opportunity to make more of an entertaining video, such as this one, we got a nice payoff. <laughs> With more power and um yeah it's just nice to do a little something a little bit different rather than just kind of the abcs of a build or you know something like that so um, i want to do more of these and hopefully that will be the case it's springtime in nebraska so we are starting to get great weather here and it's going to be car driving season we actually do lots of stuff um, in lincoln that's where i'm from there's lots of cruises and things like that uh, there's actually a huge one on Memorial Day. Um, it is absolutely insane. So love to get some video of that and get the car out for that. And yeah, so I think if you want to see any of that sort of thing, please hit subscribe. Um, and yeah, just follow along. It should be a good time. All right. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great rest of the day. Peace.